All right, everyone, this is LaBette's first run, uh, and this is my honest-to-goodness first impression of her. First of all, did they do something special with her basic attack? That looks pretty good. That's pretty cool. I like that. That Her basic attack is actually something different. She has a hit-and-run type thing. There's her S1. It makes little green things fire down all around her. Okay. All right. That was Buster Squall that we did showcase there. We're going to drop our S2 next. Uh, so far, pretty cool though. I dig it. She's definitely different. Charge in there and then back up. Oh, that S2 is sweet. That is awesome. Here comes that S1, and it's going to hit whoever she's targeting and everyone around them. And honestly, the S3, I think we're going to save for the next wave. Uh, I got to say to you guys, this girl doesn't even, like, she's not, she's not even a quarter built, okay? <laughs> this is just scratching. Um, I pretty much just unlocked her S1 through S3. She has nothing else on her except for her amazing items. Here's that S3. Boom. And then we'll follow it up with an S1. Uh, she's kicking some good ass. Honestly, guys, I didn't even think she'd make it through this. Oh, look at that. I love that. Good crowd control. I would expect that. And that is cool. That's not going to get old. Uh, just her basic attack when dealing with mobs is pretty cool because she is technically kind of like jumping in and out of your enemy's threat range depending on how big their threat range is. I mean, so it could be useful for some fights. At least it's something different. Uh, that S2, I really dig her S2. Um, and the S3 is just superb. Uh, great crowd control. It's moving people around. Can we make it to the S4? That is the question. And no, she does not appear to have like a real sniping move anymore. Actually, you know what? We should just check the range on that. I'm scared to throw her S3 uh, right now because, well, I don't think he'll die, but I do want to see her S4. So let's do that. We're just about there. No! Rah, rah! Well, you know what? <laughs> like, it came down to the last hit point, damn it. Um, I didn't get to see her S4 yet. Um, I'm sure many of you have. I'm sure it's sweet. Thing is, uh, I really didn't expect for her to... She's like level 20, has nothing on her. Uh, she soloed this. She is, has the Halloween arc equipped because I figured Happy Halloween wouldn't be something bad for her to start off with. Uh, I didn't want to give her some crazy UR arc to just go in there uh, and wipe everybody out, but she is very underpowered. Um, let's see, can we do this again? Can we do this again? Let's see. I want to drop that S4. I'm going to drop that S4 like it's hot. That's, that's what I want to do. So I think we're just going to have to do a bunch of basic attacks here for a second. Try to charge that up a little bit. But like I said, this works well because, like, especially for these guys, she is jumping in and out of their range. So that's cool. Um, the machines, not so much. Like, they have machine guns. So. <laughs> but that is cool. Uh, definitely makes her uh, more unique, I guess. She looks good so far, though. And, and, also, like, remember that this girl is like a breaker slash hardcore utility character. Okay, so that has a good range on it, actually. Wow, that, that could be pretty useful in Arena just for tying everybody up instantly. I'm sure this girl, uh, I'm sure this girl gets her, her skills charged very quickly, uh, when she actually has haste and when she has a complete kit. I mean, I'm sure she's throwing these things left and right. Uh, and it's great crowd control. I've already noticed that, which I would expect uh, just from her element in general. So let's see how she fares here. She's taking some magic damage. Now, this girl does not have a way to heal herself, so maybe I should be careful. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Oh, we're only halfway charged. And I, I fear for this girl's life. You know what, we just need to take that damn mage out. Can we reach him with anything? Oh, we can jump over with our S3 and cut the distance and just obliterate this fool. 
And that's what we're going to have to do. I don't know. We might not even make it out of this one. So, uh, obviously the last game I played, uh, that S1 was charged, or that S4 was charging up faster. Um, don't know why that is, but I didn't bring anything to heal. I think we're pretty much done for here, boys and girls. We're not going to make it through this one. Oh, no. You know what? My video should end on me getting killed. Because that is how life really is. <laughs> oh, no. No grand delusions of grandeur here, sir. We lost. This is, this is life. But it's okay because we can give up just for a second to not pay Lapis to continue. Um, and overall, I think, I think she's awesome. Like, I really cannot wait. Uh, when I review these characters, when I do kind of like a mock run like this and just kind of sample their kit and see how they actually work, uh, depending on how, how great the results are, I get excited, right? Because I start thinking of all the different possibilities of what this character is going to be able to do, all the different builds. And I can tell you right now, your boy is very excited. So actually, let's look at her. And this is literally her out of the box. I had enough potions to get her to level 25. Um, yeah, I mean, th these aren't great stats to be even running a level 40 uh, map on hard. You guys got to figure, you know, that level 40 map is made for a level 40 party, not just a single character. So she, she does very well, actually. Um, we can look at her equipment. I don't think I actually covered these, but the Sunblaze Shine Blade. Okay, the Shine Blade Sunblaze. Cool, five star. Uh, it is the element that she prefers, of course. Big surprise. So I do remember this thing having an awesome trait on it, and it does. Critical rate of Earth attacks plus eight percent. That is a nice eight percent's nice to that. That's a nice chunk. And then Earth Magic attacks have a chance of dealing critical damage. <clears throat> That's worth like 6 SC right there. Um, you know, giving something the ability to crit when it otherwise didn't have that ability. So this is a pretty good uh, trait to have on a weapon. Not to mention that this weapon is pretty much mirroring attack and intelligence. I mean, it's close. 131 to 124. That's pretty good, right? I mean, you're getting... Uh, 255 stat on a weapon. That's what you're getting. Altogether, you're getting 255. You're not able to apply that 255 to one stat. You got to split it between two stats. But not only are you getting you know that many stats on a weapon, you're also getting the trait <laughs> critical rate of earth attacks plus eight percent, which is amazing on its own. And then you have the earth magic attacks have a chance of dealing critical damage. I dare say this could be one of the most OP paid items uh, in this game. Uh, this does take her to another level a little bit for sure. This is a very powerful weapon. And then we also have uh, the Technocraft Mule. This is her little treasure buddy. Uh, this is what hauls all of Lilibet's, uh all her stuff around. I mean... What would you do if you had a little droid like that that could actually carry stuff for you? And I mean, this thing has a gun on it, right? Of course she's putting it to work. So MP50, and it's giving her 40 intelligence. So the trait should be fairly good on it because it is a five-star item. So let's see. Continuous magic barrier effect. Okay. That's all right. Nullifies strength slash intelligent debuffs from magic slash ability special excludes some debuffs that's pretty cool actually that is very very good she cannot her strength and intelligence cannot be broken so it's going to be harder to suppress her damage uh, with this and it's giving you the continuous magic barrier effect so that is very nice to have all in all i would still take the the sun blaze shine blade over uh little gizmo here but uh, it's still pretty cool. Um, 
definitely some powerful gear released with this girl, especially the sword. But mine, that's pretty much all she has, right? Uh, I have 30 unlocked abilities. 30. And I pretty much just unlocked enough to get her full uh, skill kit so I could actually run and see what they all do, what they look like, how much do they hit for. Uh, and we just got to see that. As a matter of fact, we don't even have all of her traits. Um, she was only running around with magic blades. So she is quite the handful. Um, redheads just are, I guess. But <laughs> um, Definitely an awesome character. Cannot actually wait to start getting all of her full uh, utility stuff. That's when this girl really starts to shine. It's when you start to factor in everything that she does together. It's not just the fact that she's breaking everybody. We have other units that do that. Um, she's breaking everybody, um, doing specific uh, earth damage, right? And we haven't had another earth damager for a while. Um, really, the only one is Kohaku and Davin. Um, Marie or whatever. I don't even remember what that tank girl's name is. That is how terrible she is. Our other earth-based character in this game. I, I, won't, even, I won't even say her name. I honestly just cannot even recall it off the top of my head. That is how meh she is. We're talking about the girl that has to lose everything in order to get 20% more to her defense. I don't even know what they were thinking, releasing her. But, anyway. So at least I have Labette here. Uh, and actually, I thought about it, and for this account, she's actually kind of important for this account. Because this isn't a developed account. I... I sometimes forget that I gave up an account already and I don't have my Tsukasa and I don't have my Kohaku. Uh, but for me, you know, in case I do need, you know, I specifically want earth damage, uh, I can get it from this girl. So that's cool because I don't have Kohaku. I have to make do with Alice. Um, but all in all, uh, it's pretty good for this account. It's going to be good for any account that does not have some sort of powerful earth damage character. And you never know, you might need one of those down the road to get through some tough content. Um, and this girl, she does a lot more than that too. You're going to be able to take this girl to a lot of different fights and get a ton of support from her. And before I even get all into that, I really have to play her more. Um, I have to see what she can do with casting. Can she be like a mock healer on top of do, throwing all these breaks um, and maybe a couple buffs if you need it. I don't know. We'll have to see how much can we load on this girl when it comes to actual support uh, and how much can we get out of her. That's what I'm going to be testing for. And then all of that has to be factored in with how much damage does this girl do? So is it worth it? Is all that stuff worth it for this much damage? Uh, that's going to be the big question. <laughs> how much is this damage and yeah, is it worth it because you could be bringing another character and that's obviously always what it comes down to unless you're just pulling a character because you like that character right and uh if you are more power to you have fun do do whatever you want to do whatever your young heart desires because that's what i'm doing and i'm just gonna let you guys know right now it's working out pretty good for me so uh probably the best advice i could pass on today so is this girl clutch? Is she absolutely needed? No, but for some accounts, she's going to be a little bit more important than other accounts. I think especially new accounts. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I cannot believe I actually forgot <laughs> Kohaku. <laughs> All right, I'm going to admit it right now. Big MCC caught me slipping. I actually like completely forgot about Kohaku, and that's his girl. He loves running her, so he was like, dude. Kohaku is, is is the number one, you know, earth damage in the game. What are you what are you talking about? Because I named Davin and then I kinda like fumbled dicked around and was like, yeah, Davin and uh And you know what happened? It it instantly took me to Tank Girl, who's just like such a terrible character that it like jogged my brain and I just couldn't think of Kohaku. Um She is amazing though. I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that this girl running with Kohaku would just be insane. Uh, all the breaks that this girl could throw and everything. Uh, and then Kohaku could just carve everything up. Um, getting damage caps so easy. It would just be a great party. Um, but you have to have one of the older accounts. You at least have to be around long enough to 
have been around for the Doctor Strange collab, and unfortunately this account is not. So uh, you better believe that would be one of the first things that I would be doing uh, if I had Kohaku right now, is I would be putting them in a party together and just kind of watching them destroy everything. Um, all in all though, it's been a good run. Uh, definitely happy with this character. I'm excited to see what we can do with her. And um, yeah guys, if you have any tips or advice on this character, anything that you noticed awesome about her at all or anything that stands out any questions that you have about this character go ahead leave a comment post them that's that's what we're here for that's what this is so um we can talk about this girl there's just it seems to be there's a lot you can do with her and i'm sure a lot of different people are building her a lot of different ways that is what makes this game awesome so guys go ahead share that knowledge and on that note have a good day